Hello people, I am Wyvernbog, and this video marks my very first PlayStation 2 Let's Play. I am super, super excited to do this, because I have been waiting for so long to actually do this uh, Let's Play, and other PS2 Let's Plays as well. So, as you can see from the video title, I am playing Sly Cooper and the Divas Raccoonus. So, here we are greeted with an intro of our main character, folks! A raccoon thief. How fitting. Now, this has got a little uh, detail right here that I'm going to address later. But, um, here we have the main menu. Now, I will say, I am playing this on an emulator, so if it's slow at times, like right now, actually, then that's the reason why. Um, I really wish that I could do, uh, record this, like, you know, on actual PS2, but, or, you know, have a better computer to actually run this faster, but I can't really do that. But, you know, this is a lot better than my old computer, because, trust me, my old computer could not even run this at full speed at all, like, 60 frames per second. So, anyways, normally, if you don't have any, uh, game, you can just press the start button and you'll start a new game, however, because I have tried out some of this stuff, you know, just check if it works and if it's like, you know, fast enough. I do have a few files, so, um, I'm gonna delete this one, I'm gonna erase it. So now we're gonna start this, and we're greeted Troy, with... Come in. Binocular cutscene. do you read me? Yeah, I read you. Loud and very loud. Sorry, I'm a little nervous. Trying to break into police headquarters does that. Get over it, Bentley. You're safe in the van. I'm the thief here. I've got to steal that file from Inspector Carmelita Fox. Well, count on me to be your eyes and ears, buddy. We've got their security system totally scoped. To get inside, you're gonna have to go through that air vent. All right, I'm going in. And don't forget, you got me at the wheel slide. Now, see, this is something like you know. Well, you I don't think do normal, like normal. I don't think you would see this, like black floor, we'll like thing, rest. black Just ground. I guess. Running, Murray. Though technically, we're on the roof, time. so I mean. Um, so your movement is, you know, kind of basic analog stick or a D-pad to move around. Uh, your right analog stick is to control your camera, X is to jump, you press it again to double jump, square is to attack, and a circle, we'll get into that right now actually, and triangle doesn't really do anything yet. If you press the R1 button, you can bring out your binoculars. So, let's get started. Hey Bentley, I think I'm seeing things. Must be vertigo or something. Can you see those crazy blue lights? Really? I've read about this. Master raccoon thieves are able to sense thieving opportunities, which manifest themselves as unexplainable blue auras. Uh, now, this is the detail that I was talking about earlier in the cutscene. When I do this, do this move, you'll see Sly, like, walk up to the wall, well, I guess this ledge right here, you know, and kind of, like, sneak about from the sides. And it'll actually play a little, uh, sound. But here's the thing, in the intro, he does that, you know, you saw him when he was thinking, like, uh, actually, can I check over here? Yeah, probably good. You know, like that edge right there. And it, when you, uh, look at the intro again, you know, if you haven't heard it, he it also does the exact same sound effect as, uh, here, when you actually do something. See? Yet, he didn't notice it there, so I don't really know why he didn't notice it there, but... It happens. Alright. So we gotta watch out for these laser lights right here. So pretty easy to set off. I mean to uh avoid, I mean not set off. Although it is very easy to set them off as well. Behind the red door. So yeah, again, it's slow at some points, you'll have to bear it with me. Um, I got extra stuff for throw as well, so, I mean, I really, really wish that it could actually be at full speed, but, I think this is good enough. Alright, so, 937, you just move up and down to, uh, bring the numbers up and down, left and right, you just go across the, uh, numbers, so, I mean, pretty simple enough. Nice job! You got it! If you 
Come down through the fire escape and head through the parking lot. We'll be waiting in the getaway van. Oh, what I forgot to note, actually. Uh, in the binocular cutscenes, you can actually move the left and right analog sticks to move the character's spaces. I'll do it uh, when they show up again, because they will show up again. Criminals! You foolish raccoon. I've caught him red-handed. Ah, Carmelita. I haven't seen you since I gave you the slip in Bombay. Which reminds me, you need to return the Firestone of India to its rightful owners. Ha, uh -huh. and I was going to give it to you as a little token of my... Hey... You know, that bazooka really brings out the color of your eyes. Very fetching. You think? This pistol packs a paralyzing punch. You ought to try it. Might snap you out of your crime spree. And give up our little rendezvous? Plenty of time for that once you're safely behind bars. Love to stick around and chat, but I just dropped by to pick up this case file. I think you've had it long enough. Alright, so we gotta run now. Um, Carmelita's... Bazooka can actually break these things, and if you're on it when she breaks it, you know that you'll just fall down to uh, the next stair area thing. I don't know. So over here, she'll actually shoot um, these cars, basically. She won't really aim for you, so... Whoa, that was kind of close, actually. Wow, I jumped right into it. That's... Kind of embarrassing. And I'm all the way back here. I'll see you guys right over there. That is embarrassing. Okay, so I am back. Now, if you die, you can, um, you can just skip the getting the code thing. Because when you go back to the safe, you'll actually... Well, not the, well, not the code. The vault thing, the files and stuff, you know. Uh, your complimentary... The card will be there again, so you just get out the window and just complete this. Once again, my gang and I had given Inspector Carmelita Fox the slip. I was surprised to see how well she took it. Finally, the secret police file I'd been searching for all these years. With this, I could avenge my family and regain possession of our most valued treasure. It all began when I was just a kid, bouncing on my father's knee. You see, I come from a long line of master thieves who kept all their secrets of sneaking and stealing in an ancient book. The Thievius Raccoonus. Anyone who read it learned to be especially sneaky, which is why we specialize in stealing from criminals. After all, there's no honor, no challenge, no fun stealing from ordinary people. You rip off a master criminal, and you know you're a master thief. Well, on the night I was supposed to inherit the book, five visitors came unannounced to our door. My father fought to protect us, but the gang of villains known as the Fiendish Five overpowered him and ransacked our house until they found the Thievius Raccoonus. Our family's manual of thieving greatness fell into their filthy hands. They tore the book into five pieces and split it up, each villain disappearing to the farthest corners of the world to commit dastardly crimes. Broken alone, I was dumped at the town orphanage. There I met two guys who became my lifelong buddies and trusted crew. Bentley, techno genius and strategist supreme, and Murray, part-time driver and full-time burden. Together we pledged to track down the fiendish five, avenge my father, and steal back the Thievius Raccoonus. I knew I was about to face the toughest test of my life. On this mission, I would either become a master thief like my ancestors before me, or fail and allow my family name to bite the dust. That All right. was a nice piece of work back there at police headquarters, Sly. Come see me if you want to check out any of your old movies. I've got the now, one thing I don't really get you. is why Sly's voice Use is like louder in those uh, kind of comic book cutscenes, but in the binocular cutscenes, you know, his voice is like a lot quieter. I don't know why that happens. But I'm here we have basically the world select screen, part. or I guess mission. And um, if you try to go to the next one, Murray will always be there blocking the map. And by doing something, you know, right here, he's just eating some stuff. You can't really go to the next one. But once we have access to this mission, he'll be blocking the next mission, and so on and so forth. So, let's just start with the first mission. The road trip gave me the time I needed to study up on Sir Raleigh the Frog. As a young man, this hot-tempered frog grew bored of his life of luxury and privilege. On a whim, 
he tried his hand at a bit of piracy and found it to his liking. Raleigh, who quickly became addicted to crime, was brought into the Fiendish Five as chief machinist, where his evil tinkering genius rose to new heights. The last reported sighting of this mad machinist was off the soggy coast of the Isle of Wrath, a small island uncomfortably situated in the middle of the perilous Welsh Triangle. And so we start Sly Cooper in Tide of Terror. So let's get started now. You'll see in the bottom right corner there were three things. One of them was a vault, one of them was a key, and another one is an hourglass. Hourglass is for time trials, and I'll be knowing right here right now, I'm not going to be going for 100% as far as time trials are going. Um, I will get all the uh, pages of the Divas Raccoonus though. But for me to do that, I do need to complete the game at least once so that I can collect the last final uh, page of the Devious Raccoonus. So I don't really know how I'm going to handle the credits uh, right now. I might just skip the first credits and then show the second one because when you get the final page of Devious Raccoonus, you get the credits once again. So. That is yeah, that's my plan right now. I don't know. Maybe I'll change it or something. Then hit the circle button to grab it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Relax, Bentley. I live for this. Yeah, as you can see, I'm moving my analog sticks. So yeah. Anyway, now we have the introduction of clue bottles and uh, pressing the circle button when there are any of those blue sneaky thief aura things. Get out of here. Pretty much every single enemy in this game is just one hit kill. But the same also applies to you, as you saw in the intro. My goodness. I can't believe I got hit by Carmelis Bazooka. Seriously? So a shame. But um, with these coins, when you collect a hundred of them, you can basically get a lucky charm. And lucky charms are um, basically your extensions of health. If you get one lucky charm, then you'll have a blue aura around, well, it's more like a horseshoe, really, no, but, you know, I guess it's a lucky charm, but, you know. Anyways, one level of that, you'll get a blue aura, two, and you'll get a gold aura, or yellow, during one choose. But, that's the most you can get, so, at the most, you have two hits before your final hit kills you. I'm just trying to keep you alive, partner. Fortunately for you, I launched these signal repeaters throughout Raleigh's fortress. Get close to one, and I can checkpoint your progress. Nice. Checkpoint! Yay! Now these ones won't actually um, hurt you if you touch the yellow thing, like the lasers. Touching them will only set off the alarm. Which, now, if you touch them again, they'll burn you. I don't know how the red light burns you. Because it just, like, up the intensity of that thing. Tenfold or something. But anyways, checkpoint! According to my amphibio positioning system, that big blimp is where Raleigh is hiding out. You know, that blimp looks more like a machine than a hideout. You're right, Sly. That is a storm machine. It's the reason why it never stops raining around here. That explains all the wrecked ships. But why would Raleigh want bad weather at his own hideout 24-7? You're it's the mean, genius, Bentley. You shine. can figure this out. I'm going to steal my family's book back. And if Raleigh gets in my way, it's all on. Final level though, you can actually hit these bees and get coins. <laughs> nice little detail. Anyways, these enemies just jump and get out of here! No one likes you. Alright, so this water, um, the current is pretty strong, so you do want to keep on jumping or just get on these rocks. And you should be fine. This is another one of the things where you can actually put a circle bond without having those blue or a ziggy thief moves like things. And similar objects will do the same thing. So like in this case, it's a hook. But in some levels, you know, you might have like those uh floaty tubes things. Yeah. But you know, it works. Anyways, get out of here, you easy enemy. No, 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 no. 
There we go. That's such a jerk move. I mean, seriously, gotta put it all over there. I don't like waiting. Mainly because video, the video time. I don't want it to be too long. Can't touch this. Two bottles right here, and we have the vault right here. But as you can see up in the upper right corner, we need 20. But the last four are right over here. So yeah, you can do a little bit of a, I guess, speed running tactic by just jumping repeatedly and pressing the circle button. I find it's a lot faster than just climbing normally, so, yeah. Already did, Bentley! The clues have led me to believe that the code for this vault is 792. Alright. And now we get our second page. Sly, you found a page well, actually, no, it's our first page. The first thing that we got from the vault was the uh, files. So, yeah, first page, not second page. My mistake. So, yeah, now we have the introduction of our triangle button. It is the special thief moves. Special attack moves, I guess. So, yeah, triangle button, dive attack. It's alright. I don't really use it too much because, in you know, honesty, I just do this, you know, I just swing my cane back and forth. And it's like, you know, at least with the cane, you know, I can all I can still move around and stuff. With the triangle bud, the dive move, you gotta launch yourself forward, and sometimes that's not really the best thing to do, so, you know. If you like it, go ahead, but I won't use it too much. But, now that we have gone through the first area, this is basically the main hub where we can get the other missions. I think um, this is a good point to end it, mainly because this video is probably going on for a while, and I'm recording with Fraps now instead of Camp Studio, so that means the file size is pretty big. But better than Camp Studio because Camp Studio cannot handle uh, file sizes over two gigabytes. So this has been my first episode of Sly Cooper. So excited to make more, and I will see you guys next time.